Hey, howdy ho, everyone. It's Lost Leader here, and I'm doing a nice little old thing here, Earthbound. But not just any old Earthbound, they're the very first one that they released on the eShop pretty much June 14th, I believe, right before E3. And this will be the first Earthbound that I try to actually beat. Which is like only two, so like, what does that really say about me? Uh, I have played the other Earthbound. It's just, uh, I like doing things in a certain order. I find it to be rather fun in comparison. And uh, I really, I'm kind of interested in this. I always like old school any uh, NES uh, RPGs, if only for the aesthetic style that it has. It's very minimal and it just like it's kind of dumb and like you can forgive it for being so stupid. I think, uh, but I may change my mind over that. But let's go ahead and name some of these people kind of dumb names. I have two main set names, and now I'm gonna start naming people over dumb little things. Let's we'll call him Donuts. And the last person's name, what should we call him? Hmm. He looks like a really buff dude and everything, but the other three I was fine with. This one I don't know so much. Uh, this is kind of hard. Uh, who knew naming people would be so hard? Let's call him. Let's call him. Bowser. Bowser. Oh, better yet, let's call him Wowser. After Inspector, after Inspector Dad Gadget. Because uh, I've been playing the Life is Strange with other friends and they keep saying Wowser and I just find it hilarious. Wowser! <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, I like it. I, I think it'll be good. What is my favorite food? My favorite food, uh, I would have to say, is a sandwich. But not just any sandwich. It, it would be like a particular thing. But there's oh watermelon, but I don't think there's enough letters for watermelon. But shoot, I love watermelon, dude. Watermelon's my favorite. It's my jam. Yeah, I almost died of watermelon. Uh, that's an interesting story behind that. I mean, it's not that interesting, but I <laughs> I almost died, so I find it interesting. Uh, you don't you won't die by everything. Is that how you correctly spell watermelon? Isn't that kind of bad that you don't even know how to spell your favorite food? Uh, I swear that's like some sort of weird premonition thing. Welcome to watermelon.org as soon as I type it into it. Uh, yeah, that's, it. that's how you spell it. So, there we go, watermelon. Uh, yeah, there we go. And before this, I'm going to tell you a little story about the watermelon incident. Uh, pretty much when I was a little kid, I liked eating watermelon a lot. I still do, but it was just more so the fact that I would do it to the point where I did not chew it properly. And by that I mean like I would get big old chunks of watermelon and kind of like chomp it once and then I let it go down my throat. So one time when I actually did that, uh, it got stuck in my throat. And my mom was right there. We are living in a small dinky apartment. It was pretty much uh, a living room and a, and, a, and a bathroom. That was it. And she was just in the kitchen, I was just in the living room area, and they're pretty much connected, and as soon as, like, I noticed, like, oh no, I'm gonna die, I started, like, going to my throat and pointing to her, and I was like, uh, and she's like, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, and I was pretty much just panicking the whole entire time, going like, oh my god, is this how I'm gonna die, is this how I'm gonna die, and my mom, she would just be like, oh crap, oh crap, what do I do, what do I do, and she tried to get uh, attention to somebody really quick, to see if they, like, like get somebody or something like that uh to know being there was no one really there so what she ended up doing was her instinct to do which is not the heimlich whatsoever she pretty much kept pounding on my back consistently over and over again until uh until i would i would i would chuck it out and i actually did chuck it out and it's pretty cool because she every time like she talks about like like beating me up and everything like beating uh beating you up saved your life and i was like oh my god because, like, she just pounded my back until the watermelon went away. It just, like, caught up, and... <laughs> I got up, and I went to the watermelon that we still had there. I took a bite, and I chewed it the most careful chew that you could ever chew. Just... In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered in a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, 
George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done, but he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Ooh, ooh, I'm starting to see why this is called Mother. Just by that. 80 years have passed since then. Oh my goodness. This is such bad graphics. Oh, can I control them or no? Okay, it's just they're just really bad controls as well. Wow, that's so bad. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Great, check. No problem here. Oh, this is old school RPGness where you have to literally just like look at everything and talk to them and whatnot. I don't know what it is about old RPGs that get me. Because, like, for the most part, I don't like RPGs. Oh, snap! What the heck? Oh no. Why is the lamppost attacking me? Lamp draws near! Oh god. Lamp's attack. Oh. I suffered one point of damage. Take that. Smash! Went suffer damage of five! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh god. Will I die by lamp? Suffer damage of two. Lamp doesn't move anymore. You win! Yay! What the heck? This is weird. I didn't know it started out this way. This whoa. I'm trying to talk to the to the door here. Oh. Who are you? Talk. Brother, I'm so scared. The lamp seems to be alive. And you're doing nothing about it. Why are you doing nothing? Why did it just drop me off right here where the lamps are attacking? That's just so weird to me. Lamp draws near! Oh no. Not another lamp. Why are they like all blue shade? Like I get that it was... It's the SNES, it's the NES, but like... It has to be like all blue shade. Like every little bit of it. I mean there's kind of one that isn't. But oh, wow. This this is graphics to its core in the NES version. This this looks so nice back in the day, and I can say that because I was there back in the day. I was a little kid. I was a little kid. Everything fanc fancies you. you. Just you have that kind of imagination to deal with. And I don't think a lot of people really like do that anymore. Help me! I can't really help you if you're in the way. Honestly, the controls are pretty bad. I'm very sad about that. Oh, oh, I can run. They still have that. It's because, like, there's a little thing that keeps doing that. A little, like, shock thing. Doll draws near! Oh, no. Like, you don't get any kind of introduction whatsoever. Like, usually you, you get something aside from from that. That's the exposition. You don't, you, like, straight up off the bat, like, a lamp attacked you. You're just like, I'm gonna leave. Nope, lamp attacks. I mean, I don't mind this so much, it's just, like, it was just really weird. Like, you don't really see that in RPGs. Like, ever! I mean, I, you know, I guess this kind of introduction, but it feels really weird. Oh, quit doing that. Quit attacking me. I gotta say, I really like the music so far, though. Like, the music's, like, really keeping me, like, grounded with, hey, this is gonna be great. Doll doesn't move, you win! And I like the fact that the enemy design is just FIGHT! FIGHT! FIGHT HAS INCREASED BY two. <laughs> speed has increased by 3. Okay, I understand speed. Wisdom has increased by 3. Strength has increased by 3. Force. Force? Okay. This is a pretty OP level up. Like, the phenomenon has stopped for the moment. Jeez. Oh, the doll's, the doll's over there. What are you talking? I'm talking to the doll! The doll is sentient for a bit. Try to kill me? Inside the doll. Lead spotted an old music box. As the music box was wound up, a melody began to play. Lead, remember that tune. Ooh, foreshadowing. That much I know. 
I really do like Mother for the, the fact that it's just such a different RPG. And I can see why, just with this opening right here, why it has such a great start to it. It's really nice to see that it has this little thing. Just, just nice. Nice to see it all. Ah. Wow. This is just so... Who are you talking to? No! Sometimes you get stuck whenever you're trying to press the little menu things. This is really cool, I think. The door is locked! Leech, grab the phone! This is your dad. Well, it seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to, but your great-grandfather studied PSI. You might find something in the basement to help. But I left the basement uh, key someplace. Can't remember exactly where. Anyhow, son, you are my only hope. It's time for you to go on a little adventure and explore the potential of your powers. Powers not to not be taken lightly. Lead, go for it! But remember to come back and check on your family. Boy. No, phone me and I will save your progress. Call me whenever you want. Slam. Oh, come on. Like, this is just annoying. Lead, are you alright? Egad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad was. Oh. We're here now. Maybe. Wait, you you kinda wish? Like, not really, but no problem here. No problem here. I wanna I wanna get the dang basement key. Where's the basement key? I wanna know. Where's the basement key? Is it here? Like how how does the check button work exactly? I'm a little confused on that little remark. Does it work where you on the that you're on the actual item or no? Maybe I talk to them. They'll know about the basement. Brother, here's some juice. You are thirsty, aren't you? No problem here. No problem here. Do 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 do. Right, it seems to have calmed down. Like I actually move proper. Brother, here's some juice. You are thirsty, aren't you? Okay, same bits of dialogue. Oh yeah, man, the run button works so much better. Oh my goodness gracious. This is really cool. I just, I don't know where it is. Oh well. Oh! Let me talk to dog. You can converse with animals. Tell you a secret. Why don't you check me out? Bow wow. Okay. There, on the dog's collar, was the basement key. Lee got basement key. Yay! Why is there no problem with the doggy? This is really, really cool. Like, just awesome. What are you? I am Minnie. What can I do for you? Leave, take out. Leave, take out. What is take out? You haven't left anything with me. Oh, okay. Now, the way that they say it is weird. Oh, goods. Basement key, use. Oh, yeah. Who knows old school RPGs? There was uh, GGF's diary? Lee got GGF's diary? What? Lee opened the present. There was plastic bat. Lee got plastic bat. Beat is so scary. There was bread! And then there was breb. You know, breb. The San Francisco tree. I just trying to talk to the sign. Lead's house. Okay. So the main reason why I actually named my character Lead is because uh, my handle Lost Leader. Uh, I usually tend to name all females that I get that are main characters uh, Lost, and I name all the male characters uh, Lead. That's not because like a sexist thing or anything like that, at least in terms of uh, 
like what's what it's just kind of like i see lost more as like my actual self and i see lead as just like like my I idea like of who i am i guess i hard to really say but i i've always felt it that way like lost is supposed to be like actually me and lead's supposed to be oh my god i almost died am i Stray dog, why you do this to me? I'm only beating you up. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna die? Is this where I die? No! No! Did I died! <laughs> lead, lead. You seem to be worn out from fighting. One more time? Question mark. Rest. Continue. Uh, with his strength regained, lead returned once more to the fighting scene. To the fighting scene. Like Fight Club. Like lead is like I'm going to fight them. Okay. This place is not the map. Okay. This is just what the. I like to put that at a faster fight message. Uh... Not what I want. Goods. Eat. Eat baseball bat. Don't be silly. You can't do that. Okay. I thought I could. Uh, let's see here. Give, look, use. Oh, there we go. Alright, equip it. Maybe now we'll be better. Thankfully, it's like nothing was lost for me or anything like that. That's good. I can't believe I died to the first thing I saw. That was so asinine. I'm so sad about that. Oh, what the? Wally draws near. Who the heck is Wally? Why is Wally attacking me? Did I do something to Wally or maybe one of his relatives? Ah. Why Why you do this to me, Wally? This is really catchy music, though. I mean, like, I don't like the little, like, bass, like, mm with a little dee 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 dee. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, jeez, why am I getting, like, so padded to? I get, I get that it's supposed to be an ORPG in the heart, but, like, this is ridiculous. Like, almost dead. Oh my goodness, I might die. Yet again. Ah, oh, frackle, dude. Auto. Like an auto battle? Alright, well, that's cool. I should be able to suffer five. No, I can't do anything else with that. Cash car. Orange juice. GGS. What does check do? Um, I should probably fight. Oh, freaking, quit fighting me! Suffered five. I get attack him one more time and then I have to use the orange shoes. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I need some pizza. Just want to beat up a dog. Urgh. I can't believe this. This is ridiculous, man. I'm surprised how much. USED! <laughs> uh, if I feel like they, it's the same translation that they just they had all those years. They're like, let's just use it. Became quiet. Stray dog became quiet. Oh my god. This is this is something else entirely. Oh, what can I do? What should I do? Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? My little peppy is gone. If you're going to to Bodunk. Please tell the mayor. Oh me, oh my. Check. No problem. And I can't go through. Well, I was trying to check it. Let's see. That's. What does this say? Please. The diary is hard to read, but open up to this page. Password. The one who lost the tail. 
The forgotten one. The shit that sails. Okay. This is so weird. I'm on digging it, but this is wow. Crap, like there's just so much that like I'm gonna die to. And I can't go back anymore now. I like I have to stick to just like not dying. What the heck? I'm getting like attacked by one here. Meanwhile, like with all those other ones, like I was getting super attacked, like a bunch of damages. Snake became quiet. Wow. Oh, what the frack? No, not stray dog again. I'm gonna run. Oh, why do you have to bite me? What the frack? Frick, why don't this stray dog leave me alone? This is annoying. I don't have any of that. Like, I just, I don't have. I'm dying, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's cool. Like, I'm almost dead. No. No. I have to get used to these controls. Curve by eight, okay. It's a decent amount. Oh, oh so you can go at diagonally. Pretty sneaky game. Welcome to Podunk. Okay, maybe I could actually like heal myself or something. No problem. No. I'm trying to talk this this jerk off. Come on now. Did a poltergeist visit your host? It tore mine apart. Well, that's a good thing. You don't deserve to have a house. Okay. Little mousy. Let me talk to little mousy. Let me let me talk to little. Could you? I need to talk to dang mouse. There we go. Hee hee hee! I am the noisy mouse. Some buildings you can enter, some you cannot. If the door is round or has a sign, go on inside. The rest of the doors will not open for you. Well, that's rude. Bye! Okay. This game, though. I'm liking it for the fact that it's so old, and like I can see this as a very ambitious title. Like this probably doesn't have, yeah, you, like can't enter it. Like the mouse said, the mouth has prosperized. Don't tell me you've been south to the cemetery. Uh, no, I haven't actually. Someone must be controlling the dead. Also, oh, there's zombie rest. Resurrection in this too. All right. I mean, Earthbound has always been kind of that weird game that it just it has its own imagination to it. And I, I like that so much about it. And I wish a lot of other RPGs would do that because, in all honesty, I think that's what RPGs are missing a lot nowadays. The animals went mad and out of control. The dead became zombies and began attacking people. What could be done? Uh, the Canary Village is uh, northwest from here. It's a nice place to visit, and ambition is free! No one cares about you. Um, I, re I really do find myself, like, just... Oh. Welcome! 39... 39 a night?! What the frack?! The room rate at uh, this hotel is so inexpensive! And that's not where it stops being cheap either. Excuse me! I have zero money! Whenever you get tired, just drop by our inn. I tried. You were super expensive. I cannot afford you. That is ridiculous. Oh my god. I have no money, no nothing. I, I feel like I'm in over my head. But, as I was trying to state, I think a lot of RPGs would benefit from Earthbound style of just kind of like 
imagining what certain things would be what and just making these really weird uh, sort of realities instead of trying to be um, like this hyper realistic type dealie that they started to kind of be in a way and like you know I, I get it I get why why that's happened it's just the way technology is but I think if we saw more of these like this kind of style we would have a lot more people being into RPGs. I just, I, that's the way I feel it would be. Like, I wish kind of, oh, my, are you, are you that snot nosed lead? Who sat next to me in kindergarten? Why, why are people mean to me?